Hello everybody, so I promised you support for the new Control Mark 3 series of the S-series controller keyboards and here it is. It's not much difference to the version before, but there were also some new features for the Control Mark 2 and the A and the previous M-series, but more on that later, so stay tuned. So let's start out with the new Control Mark 3. So they get auto detected both in Bitwig and in Reaper. So it's also Reaper support and some good news for Linux users. I checked with the Control Mark 3 and it works surprisingly totally fine on, on Linux as well. Sure, you cannot use the complete plugin, but the door control works exactly the same as on Mac as on Windows. So this is because they move the protocol now inside of the device in contrast to the older devices. But back here on my Windows PC, as I said, it gets auto detected, but especially sometimes on Linux names are different. So you might need to edit manually, but that's also easily done. You select your native instruments and look in this long list for the Mark III series, add that, and then you need to select the second port as the first one and here also the second output port as the first one and the one without any further name as the second one which is the the data coming from the keyboard as well as the bands and the expression and also the foot controllers are going via this second channel so it's important to have it in that order main question last time when i did a first unpackaging and a little bit of demoing and a review about the device is how can we change additional modes so you get this normal door mode here when you can do only volume you can also i forgot this last time if you do this one you switch to panorama so you can also change the panorama settings of that channel and if you go with shift and down again you are back here to the volume and then you can also do mute on the channels or with shift you can do solo instead but that's basically it what you can do besides the normal expected transport behavior which we have here on the left but now we can also switch to the other modes i already supported on the older keyboards which means you have a send mode as well as a device parameter mode and i chose to use a stop button for that because stop is a little bit uh, redundant because if you press the play button again it will also do stop so it's the most logical to use a stop button to switch between these three modes but i'm pretty sure some users think different about it so i added an option for that here in bitwig that you can choose 
which of these buttons you'd like. So you can also select to have the auto button loop, quantize, redo, restart, stop, or the tempo button for that behavior to change between the modes. And if you say for any reason you don't want to switch at all, you can also set it to off, but then you're back to the normal behavior of the mixer. So switching to the second mode is the sense mode then, which always are all the sense in this setup. I have only one send on the track, but we could also add a second send here. Let's add another effect track. So then the second one will appear. So always the selected track effects are here for editing. So for example, you see here, the second send now does also change on that channel on the selected channel and what is also noteworthy is that both this value below here as well as a panorama show the value because there was nothing i could show differently up there so you get basically both values are the same for sands which could somewhere sometimes be helpful if you switch to the next one to the parameter mode but let's go back here to a channel which has something meaningful on it for example that one there you get now all the parameters. You can switch the pages with the page buttons, but here is only one. Maybe do we have by with polymer here, we have more than one. So here we can also switch pages to get access to all your parameter pages. And you can also switch devices. I changed that a bit also on the older models. It's now uh, consistent that you change your pages because before you had to use here the encoder. But with the encoder now, you can switch between the different devices on the channel, on this currently selected channel. And what is new also for all old models as well is that you can now go up and down to switch now between the normal cursor device editing, but also the track parameters, which you can find here on the track. So now we can edit track parameters or you can go down one more to the project page. We don't have here a project page, but you could create one map, whatever parameters you want to have from all your projects. So you could also get here, get another one, whatever. And then they will show up as well here in the display. And you can also see here, it names it project. So you directly see where you are. If you go back, you will see we are on the track parameters here. And if you go back, you will see the name of the plugin which is currently selected for editing on the track. There's one drawback for the older models to be specific, the A and the M series. Somehow the page buttons on the, for example, here on the M series, the page buttons do not work somehow in this mode. So I will ask any native instruments about it, but so you stuck with one page with these models. Okay, I thought better have the new option to switch between project and track parameters instead of pages because then you can still be able to tweak a specific project or track page with your favorite parameters. And I think that's more helpful than switching pages. There's also something to mention, you can navigate if you go back here to the normal view, you can navigate here the clips this has some issues which I still cannot work around somehow. It's pretty clunky and not really solid. It works a bit better in Bitrix implementation, but nevertheless, I think there's a basic issue with that and we need an improved API. Even if it works fine, it's still a bit, you see nothing where you're navigating and you can only select one and start one and need to move around. So this is not a helpful function at all. So I totally suggest to get, for example, here a little launch pad, which is much, much more powerful than this encoder thingy. And it fits nicely here on the keyboard. And you could even get the bigger ones on here. And even the pro model is still sitting nicely and not moving here on the device. And this is a very, very powerful combination. And these things are pretty cheap, especially the small one. So I said also Reaper is supported. So let's have a quick look at Reaper. So also with Reaper, you have auto detection. It will then, oh, I can also show you that. So let's remove that. Let's do auto detect and it will show up. And as again, if for any reason, uh, the names, the MIDI ports on, have different names, you can still go on the manual add menu. So you can select here native instruments and as well select here the series Mark III to edit manually. 
And also the configuration options are absolutely identical. And the most important one here is again to select here the modes. I switched here to quantize, but here okay, we can also say stop for that. Yeah, then it's working basically absolutely the same as with the Bitwig version. For example, let's start playback here. You see here view, you can change your volume, mute the tracks, solo them. It's the same deal. As usual, tell me down in the comments what you think about the device and do you use it? Do you like it? And until next time, make some funky music.